Good afternoon. If I uh, read the title and all the authors, it would take two minutes. So uh, it's a pleasure to be here to speak to you about some research that I've been doing uh, in collaboration with uh, Dr. Gerald Crystal at the uh, BC Cancer Research Center at Terry Fox Lab and, uh, and Dr. Uh, Jeff Volek at uh, the University, uh, Ohio State University, the Ohio State University, as we're supposed to say. So um, uh, our research looked at the uh, therapeutic benefits of ketogenic diets for women with um, metastatic breast cancer, stage four metastatic breast cancer. Uh, I wanna thank the John and Lottie Heck Foundation that provided over a million dollars to fund this project. Uh, so we were able to use the very latest tools and techniques to investigate to the deepest level we could. And, uh, and we're just producing the results now. We were doing some immunohistochemistry we were doing some uh, very advanced uh, examination of their metabolic state and also cancer imaging, the first ever clinical use of a digital PET scan, PET CT for our studies. So to summarize, uh, four conclusions, uh, and, and first, it's a health study, so first do no harm. There were no adverse events due to the adoption of the ketogenic diet, which is a very low carbohydrate, high fat diet that has been used for over 100 years for to treat epilepsy and, and now recently other chronic diseases, especially diabetes, heart disease, and, and, and now cancer. Um, secondly, we found that there, uh, the changes that we saw in the, um, in the women's metabolism was the same kinds of positive changes we see in very healthy young athletes. Um, so even the fact that they were very ill didn't impact the positive changes that resulted from adopting the diet. Uh, thirdly, we did the immunohistochemistry at the BC Cancer Research Center and found that there, it was indicative of some positive anti-cancer changes. Uh, and fourthly, with the imaging we were able to do, we saw um, remission and in some cases complete remission of hypermetastases of the breast cancer in the liver in particular. Thank you.